Reddit, what was the scandal at your high school? One kid got a blow job on the stairs during school. There was a security camera in that staircase and the security guards came and chased him down. From then on those stairs are being called the stairway to heaven. Edit, for those curious this happened in New Jersey. I don't remember what happened to the girl. The dude booked it to the bathroom and changed his shirt thinking that the guards won't recognize him. They clearly did. He got suspended. Our janitor opened one of the lockers. Cause it smelled bad. And found a dead baby inside. It turned out that one of the students was pregnant. Gave birth in the bathroom and hid the baby in her locker. It was tragic. Cause nobody knew the girl was pregnant and she ended up in the mental institution. The yearbook accidentally published a picture with this chick's vag in it. And a kid reported that he saw a man with a gun and puts the whole school on lockdown during standardized testing. Four hours later it turns out he made it up to avoid his fifth tardy which would have resulted in suspension. He was expelled. There was this black physics teacher called Joe. Once he yelled at some guy that wouldn't stop talking during the class and the dude answered with easy there. Nigga Joe. Got thrown out from class immediately and ended up with a week's worth of suspension. My so's father taught at an inner city, public school in the early aughts, and, as you might expect, there was often a lot of poorly behaved kids with home issues. Well one morning he and several of his colleagues were pulled into the principal's office for a meeting. As it turned out, one of their students' parents had called in to let them know that their son had passed away. In the coming days there were several memos and such detailing the memorial service. Shortly thereafter, maybe a week, the administration realized that this particular student's parents believed their son had been attending school as usual. The kid had called himself in dead. What a legend. Edit. I've been guilt. No take backsies. There was this girl that was part of the Civil War Club and the Model Train Club and they were both run by her history teacher, M.R. B. One time M.R. B took the Civil War Club to a reenactment where they camped out overnight and a few kids said they saw the girl sneak into his tent. Cut to next year and it was just a rumor by then. Girl graduates and then tells everyone that she's engaged to M.R. B and is 4 months pregnant with his kid. Good times. Girl had a miscarriage in the girl's bathroom. She tried flushing it but it ended up clogged. Blood and guts splattered across the floor. She was escorted out by EMTs. Pure trauma. During one of the lunch periods, a freshman decided to give a fellow classmate a blowjob under a round table. Sits about 10, in the middle of the cafeteria. Their friends were sitting at the table, egging them on as well. The police and national media were involved. One of the students sitting at the table was charged for videotaping the incident. It was a pretty big mess. Edit. Go Eagles. We had glow stick girl. She sent a photo to someone of her masturbating with a glow stick. Everyone in our school got the photo as did the other schools in town. Another school had spatula girl. So when our basketball teams played each other we took a giant spatula to the games. They brought glow sticks and we would yell at each other. The school had no idea as to why we would do this but neither objected. It. The school did know about the rivalry and the spatula ended up being thrown out of the game. I had forgotten about it and thankfully another redditor from my high school reminded me. The Christmas tree jump. Friend jumped from the second floor onto the school Christmas tree. It was a hyped event kept secret from all faculty members for at least a few weeks before the kid did it. His dad was a prize winning lumberjack so the kid knew a thing or two about hanging onto trees. Video. A female teacher in my school was in a lesbian relationship with a student's mother and a 14 year old student simultaneously without either knowing about the other. This became public knowledge shortly after her arrest. Edit. Yes the student and mother were mother and daughter. Should have worded that better. And no it wasn't your HS. We rarely even call them high schools in this country. Edit 2. Also one of the math teacher's daughter was a softcore punster so it was a regular occurrence to find pictures of her half naked lying around his classroom. A guy in upper 6th, 17 stroke 18, tried to ask a year 7, 11 stroke 12, on a date. School was not easy for him after that. A girl posted a picture of her sucking D on Instagram. Edit. I'm in Illinois and I don't have the source. At our school, 
one of the guys in our baseball team raped another guy on the baseball team. Note, this was the major story behind what happened. School tried to keep it hush hush but word got it. It made the news. But the incident was heavily downplayed since it technically was a parent sponsored activity. Link below. Edit. Well crap. A few days ago, the body of a missing student from our school was found in a river. Now, we are on the news again. Lunch lady laundered $20,000. Our science teacher was caught ducking the drama teacher in the copy room. He was married and his son was a classmate of mine. Very awkward. Year later he divorced my classmate's mom and had a child with a drama teacher. My classmate's mom died not long after that. Not sure when exactly. Due to cancer. A rumor was started that a certain girl, I'll call her and Smith was sleeping with everyone. It wasn't true. And everyone knew it. Nobody cared. It was fun to have someone to pick on. Eventually the rumor became that she was pregnant. And denied it. Which meant she was in denial. The fictional pregnancy became a fictional abortion. Which transmuted into a fictional infanticide. The baby was buried in the park. Football field. And or flushed down the toilet. Got to the point where girls who slept around weren't called sluts. They were called and smiths. None of rumors were true. And everyone knew. Coming up with new rumors about Anne became the school's favorite pastime. She tried very hard to not let this affect her. She brushed the rumors off with a laugh. That only made things worse. She eventually had to transfer schools. It's weird how arbitrary this was. The girl wasn't unpopular. She wasn't mean. She was a nice young lady. And the school decided to make her life hell for no reason. It makes think of the lottery. Girl I was dating from another school stood me up for her homecoming. But was actually caught at that homecoming getting double teamed in the locker room. Other people at my school heard about it before I did. A student ran away with the theater teacher. This was a Christian school. And they were both chicks. The fecal phantom. For several years large amounts of it would appear in urinals and sinks almost on a weekly basis. Way too late for this but. There was a lesbian freshman couple. One of them cheated on the other. So the spurned partner cheated back. By having sex with her partner's brother. Long story short. She ended up having the brother's baby. And the two girls got back together. Last I heard. They were raising the baby together. Someone put gear oil in the machine shop Titch's coffee. Damn near killed him. These two girls started a Twitter account exposing and calling out random people. Posting pictures of whatever the duck was going around at the time. We're talking about when insert name here cheats on her boy insert name here and then a picture. Or, when insert name here ducks two guys at once at her house with her mom sleeping in the room next. Like what the duck is wrong with people. This it was online bullying. Online harassment and such. Police got involved. Next thing you know this caught on and other schools started doing it. Oh and teachers got onto it too. Like they started reading the tweets. Someone made an account just for the teachers too. And because our city isn't the biggest city ever. Most popular or even semi-popular kids knew kids from other schools ever across the city. And we had a city-wide target spree of it getting out. Happening right now. A Muslim teacher was apparently fired over showing a video of Malala Yousafzai. Graphics design teacher grew 30 marijuana plants in her basement. She was a pretty cool teacher. For decades. Guys at my high school would break into the University of Washington locker rooms and steal equipment. We're talking jerseys, basketball and football, shorts, cleats, balls, shoulder pads, you name it. This went on for years. They would wear this stuff to school. During practice, games, etc. Some dipit wore a stolen item to an actual UW sporting event in 1999. And someone ratted on him. It had been reported stolen. Eventually, an investigation uncovered something like $15,000 in stolen merchandise. And that was just what the police knew about. Their punishment was to forfeit two games. Most players quit the team. They finished the season with a roster of 24 people. With almost everyone playing both offense and defense. The funny thing is, 15 plus years later, I still see people wearing the stolen jerseys and shorts. They stick out because they're jerseys of random players. And were never sold to the public. 
Three years ago, two kids, boy and girl, were in separate classes and both asked for a bathroom pass from their teachers. They met up in the school bathroom and started ducking. After a while, one teacher got a bit annoyed that their student was taking so long. Sent another student to go check if they actually went to said bathroom. Messenger student went in. Saw heard what was happening. And reported back the exact details of everything that was going on loudly to teacher and entire class. That one teacher got the golden brick. Our school's Darwin Award equivalent. That year. Edit. Me being an idiot with poor word choice and accidentally offending you guys. Quite sorry about that. Definitely not intended. There was a rumor that theater kids would all have six in the woman's bathroom in the theater. Turned out it was true when a teacher walked in on a couple going at it on the sink. They ended up locking the theater bathrooms during the day and only opened them for performances. It wasn't super scandalous, but it sucked because those bathrooms were nicer and quieter than the other ones. One of my friends got really drunk her senior year with some friends at her choir rehearsal. She couldn't handle herself and started acting super slutty. Got on our teacher's table yelling about how no guy would duck her. I don't really know how because she was hot as hell. Anyways, the teachers called the cops and she got expelled. This was 3 weeks before graduation. Kid want to be a marine. I mean from childhood. Meets a recruiter when he's 16. Kid has alcoholic and abusive dad. Dad comes home one night. Threatens mom. Kid gets dad's gun. Tell dad if he comes in closer he will shoot him. Dad comes closer. Kid puts three in the chest. Kills dad. Kid arrested. It's a tragedy all around say the papers. However it is determined to be self defense. Allegedly recruiter only had one question for him. Where did you shoot him? Kid replied three shots. Sent a mass. Kid went on to be a marine. We used to be able to come in late for exams. Until one seventh grader, 13, suck another one's d and now we have to come in on time. It was a big deal a few years ago but I think I'm the only one who remembers now. And the ex-principal ducked the sixth grade history teacher. Our school is K-12 with K-6 on one side of the cafeteria and 7-12 on the other. Edit. Apparently other people remember the first one. Because someone messaged me who apparently goes to my school. Deletes Reddit. Kid named Trey, may or may not be his real name, had one of our administrative people house sitting while his parents were out of town. Her name is Candy. Now, Candy is not your typical school administrator. She's like 45, but in really good shape and has had a decent amount of work done. Face. Tits. ETC. She's not hot, but she's hot for a middle-aged woman working at an all-boys high school. It's not even fair at that point. There's so little competition. And she's hot in that whole may or may not be doing lots of hard drugs white trash kind of way. Anyway. Trey decides to throw a house party. Candy agrees probably because she wants to seem cool. A bunch of high schoolers show up. Everyone is drunk. And there are even some people from our rival high school there. After a significant amount of alcohol. Trey and Candy have six. Candy at some point also has six with another boy from the rival high school. At school over the next few weeks, more and more people learn of Trey and Candy's match made in hormonal, self-conscious, desperate hell, being obnoxious teenage boys. Kids start singing I want candy by Bo Wow Wow whenever Trey enters a classroom. Hilarious at first. Teachers soon catch on that there may be a meaning and become suspicious. After it happens one too many times, a teacher pulls one of the weaker kids into a room and basically interrogates and threatens this kid with demerits if he doesn't rat. The kid rats. Candy was not at school the next year. Last I heard, she was texting kids from the high school looking for drug hookups. Solid recovery. Candy. Guy ducked his dog. Nickname is now Boggle. Spanish teacher showed porn for no actual reason. Music teacher had an affair with a drama teacher. And now it seems like the religious studies teacher is gonna duck a student by the end of the year. A girl gave some guy a BJ on the bus during a field trip. Made local news and everything. Edit. I forgot about this one. Senior year some sophomores got caught ducking in the weightlifting room by the gym teacher who apparently watched before announcing his presence. While that was probably a rumor he was super creepy so you wouldn't put it past him. 
We had a charity thing in high school where you'd raise money for cancer. The amount being raised was shown on a thermometer and every limit would force a teacher to shave their head. On the very top was this French teacher. Anyways the initiative was due to finish after lunch recess. A bunch of people are in gym shaving their heads and trying to raise money. Bills are flying down from the bleachers and we raised just enough money right at the bell. The French teacher was not down and ran away causing all the students to chase her into the bathroom banging on the door and it. She soon after had a bit of a mental breakdown. Someone at school found out her lava life profile and she left. Also, some students stole all the money raised in the initiative from the gym. Boy oh boy. Our school was on the news every month. We had multiple student teacher sexual relationship scandals. We had a teacher get extradited for some assault. We had a bomb threat one year. Another year some kid brought a mixture of bleach and ammonia to school. Made some kids smell it and then spilled it all over and got half the school shut down for the day. Our school was on ESPN four weeks following an embarrassing blunder at our rivalry football game. My favorite scandal was when some kid took up skirt photos of the 90 year old stats teacher. A wrestling coach allegedly murdered a cheerleader from another school and dismembered her body. Put it into a garbage bag and hid it on his property. Upon being arrested and interrogated, he hanged himself with his belt in the room when the detective stepped out. His children were classmates with me. Ducked up. We had a coal furnace at my school. And one guy decided pouring synthetic fox piss in one of the radiators was a good idea. The scent of fox piss took over the entire school to the point our principal was yelling at us to literally run to our classrooms and people were gagging and puking. The school tried to combat the smell by pouring fabric softener in the radiators. But that just resulted in the hallway smelling like downy fox piss until they remodeled 6 years later. One of the most laid back teacher who would even show up at parties sometimes after school and let us charge our phones in class. Got busted for a whole bunch of sexual abuse and child endangerment charges. Edit. The teacher was charged today with 5 years in jail and is never allowed to teach again under a plea deal. A guy was dating a very religious conservative girl and and bragged that they were having sex. No one believed him so he videotaped it and showed it to his friends. Everyone found out about it. A kid fed a pig a ham sandwich. Someone did a Nazi salute in a class taught by a Jewish teacher. Ducking every school scandal that could possibly happen. Huge weed bust with dogs and something like 7 arrests. Two married teachers have affair. Get fired. School counselor exchanges texts with sad female student whom was recently broken up with. Texts are all racist jokes about the ex-boyfriend. Sad female student shares the jokes with friends. Friends tell administration. Administration reads sad female students texts. Counselor is fired. Substitute art teacher gets fired for being drunk on the job. Two students caught having six in the stairwell. Female student threatened expulsion for sexual harassment of sexy teacher. Sexy teacher says it's not necessary. Just wants for her to be removed from his class. Same female student gets caught sucking D at her senior picnic. Is not expelled because she is caught by another student. There is no proof. Same female student is later expelled for stealing a teacher's password and changing her grades. Oh and one more thing while I'm thinking about it. Some dude kept hitting on the floor in the boys bathroom. Never found out who it was. This last one isn't exactly a scandal. But there is one teacher who got hit by a bus. This all happened within a 3 year span. Edit. Spelling. A girl a year ahead of me had a baby in her basement. Stabbed it 135 times. And then threw the baby in the trash. I sat next to. Talked to. And had several classes with the Columbia Mall shooter. It. Science teacher had relations with a girl. They went on weekends away together. Had fake Facebooks. It came out. He claimed they were saving penetrative 6 till she was 16. Was a red storm. A drug dealer fight on the field. The school went into lockdown. Edit. Not much of a story really. Anyway. The school I went to was on the edge of a very rough estate here in the UK. Lots of drug use. Violence and poverty. It didn't help that the area has not really recovered from the loss of coal mining. Background out the way. I was in geography and at the end of the lesson, 
My teacher told us we weren't allowed to leave the classroom and refused to tell us why. This lasted for 20 minutes into lunch before we were let out of the classroom. Half the school, 800 people, were by the gates to the field. The field was just down the road, like a minute walk, where some of the SLTs were the standing. Us students knew nothing and all sorts of rumors went round. The final story which seems to be true and would likely elicit this response frock my school was at a dealer. Low level. Was ambushed by two guys. One of whom had a baseball bat and beat the crap out of the guy. Our 50 plus year old school pastor was running and starring in a gay porn website with a wrestling theme. He was politely asked to resign and now teaches in Thailand. I go to a school that's high school and middle school combined. Last year, this one senior girl was charged with sending nudes to a bunch of middle school guys. She was arrested and kicked out of school, but last I heard she wasn't in jail or anything. Trial could still be going on. A teacher heard noises from a unisex bathroom, so he went to check it out. This tall guy sheepishly leaves the bathroom, and so the teacher goes inside to check it out. It seems empty. Then bam a girl falls out from the ceiling with her pants off. She claimed she lost her pencil or something. Couldn't even find time up there to put her pants back on. A girl named Laura from Brazil moved to our small town in upstate New York to stay with her dad or something for a year. The second month of school she brought a knife in and threatened her boyfriend who had been cheating on her. She was suspended for the rest of the school year and I've never seen her since but I have her number in with the knife emoji Mayo.